We're joined now by Tricia Pendergrover, who is speaking here at the uh, convention today. So first of all, let's talk about DEI. Why is diversity, equity, and inclusion so important in engineering? You know, I think engineering is um, often forgotten as a socio-technical field. And I think that um, when we think about the ways in which engineering has sometimes made really great advances, but also sometimes have inadvertently created some um, inequities in society, um, it's really important for us to keep in mind and keep in center that it's at the heart of our discipline. It's not on the side, but it's actually at the center of who we are as engineers and the, the kinds of solutions we're trying to identify and the kinds of solutions we're trying to create. Do you feel like people on their own, you know, do they have the agency on their own to drive equitable change in this field? You can do a lot on your own, um, thinking about your own sort of knowledge base. Um, are you making sure that you're aware of some of the inequities that have existed? Um, are you really learning about best practices as it relates to teaching and learning and creating welcoming environments for students? Um, but you can also do a lot more and amplify your efforts when you're able to um, work with others. And so what can engineers do you feel like, what can they do to make sure that their teams, that they're being not just diverse, but also welcoming? A lot of times we um, uh, create a space for people, you know, it's like there's a seat at the table, um, but then you don't let them actually fully participate at that table conversation. Since I work at a teaching and learning center, oftentimes we talk about how do you um, make sure that student teams are most effective. And so we often encourage the use of peer review and having students, you know, give each other feedback on how those interactions work. Um, in part, we do that because there's been a lot of research that shows that certain groups are marginalized in those team experiences. And so if you're able to do some peer evaluation to just kind of get a sense of, you know, just holistically, how are we functioning as a team? Do we respect everyone? Are we able to hear from all the different perspectives? Um, because that's really where the best parts of engineering come together, when you have all those diverse perspectives that are bringing forth new ideas. Now, what DI initiatives have you, you know, facilitated? What are you hoping to accomplish more of? They've ranged from um, smaller projects where I am looking within my staff and we're working together to develop our own skills. But in terms of larger scale initiatives, I've been a part of two NSF sponsored um, projects. One was called the Inclusive STEM Teaching Project. And this is a large, massive, open online course that's specifically on um, integrating inclusive teaching practices within the STEM context. More recently, though, I've been a part of a NSF-funded grant um, within our college at Michigan Engineering that's focusing on teaching equity-centered engineering. We're partnering with several, again, this is this whole idea of partnering, right? Yeah. So we're partnering with folks across the college and the School of Ed, um, with our Center for Socially Engaged Design, as well as our teaching center, the Center for Research on Learning and Teaching and Engineering. Um, and we're looking at ways to develop a framework for how to actually um, create an equity center engineering uh, framework. And then our center is really responsible for the professional development. How do we support instructors to not only integrate those case studies in the classroom, but also create an environment where those case studies can really flourish, right? So again, coming back to that idea of what kind of a welcoming environment to um, would best help students to learn in those environments. Okay, tie it all in together. We're bringing it back to the partnership, bringing it back to Absolutely. the beginning. All right, Trishia Pindergarver, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me.